Well, I think uh, the president was getting a lot of pressure to uh, respond to Russia's handling of the Edward Snowden affair. Uh, he had people calling on him to do everything from cancel this meeting to cancel the American presence at the Olympics uh, coming up. And so uh, I think he was pushed into a corner where he had to take one of the, the least bad options. Uh, at the end of the day, c canceling a meeting with Putin uh, is neither uh, a major uh, obstacle in the relationship nor something that uh, that hurts Putin in any way. It's not like he canceled a meeting with the president of Cambodia, who really needs that meeting with the United States to uh, to look good. Um, it certainly does escalate the tensions, though, that have been on the rise for some time. And the White House very specifically mentioned Edward Snowden in that statement today. It, it's a measured step. Uh, it is uh, one of the options that Obama had, and probably one of the least damaging ones. Look, we, uh, you know, in the United States, passed the Magnitsky Act uh, to cut, crack down on human rights abusers in Russia. They countered uh, by banning U.S. adoptions of Russian citizens. But at the end of the day, those are very small issues compared to uh, trying to make sure that Iran doesn't get a nuke, uh, neutralizing North Korea's nuclear ambitions, uh, the, the proxy war going on in Syria, and uh, the United States' need for a northern distribution network uh, to, to withdraw supplies from Afghanistan that runs right through Russia, at least the rails do, uh, that's something that you'd be looking forward to at the end of this year, perhaps 2014. Uh, these are all major, major issues, and none of them would seem to be affected by uh, the cancellation of a meeting. Jake, I know the Hill is not here, Congress is all gone, but are you hearing anything in terms of reaction so far to the cancellation? I think what John said is right. It, it was the least uh, bad option. And the problem was the walls were closing in on him from Capitol Hill for members of his own party who were calling for action. I mean, members of his own party were saying he needed to respond to Russia in some way, most notably by not showing up at the Olympics. So this was not something where he could hide and run behind people of his own party who agreed with him or who thought he should do nothing. So it was a step he kind of needed to take. And will it be enough of a step? Will this satisfy that that <laughs> desire to do something, or will there be calls for more? I think there the, there will probably be calls for more. There are always calls for more for members of ca on Capitol Hill. <laughs> there's, 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 there's nothing that will yeah. satisfy <laughs> John McCain and Lindsey Graham's uh, desire to escalate uh, in foreign policy. I, I, I think <laughs> that I think it'll be people will see it as a good first step but uh, something that needs to continue. And it should be noted that I think Russia is sending two representatives to the United States for talks this or next week. So I think while the tensions are high, I, I think there's going to be back-channel communication to kind of soften that a little bit. And besides, there's not, not uh, any clear evidence that Obama meeting with Putin is ever uh, productive for that relationship. They seem to really genuinely dislike each other and be uncomfortable around each other. And Putin's always uh, trying to make Obama look bad. So uh, I don't know that the president really probably felt like he needed to spend a lot of time with Putin.